Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Today I am bringing you a video inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today, in this video, I am going to be joined by Elfa Lee and Afro Dan. <laughs> Hi guys, um, we need to come up with something to do for the intro. We always try and have a, a funny introduction. Should we, should we have a dance or something? Should we have a dance off? I'm going to give you both 10 seconds to dance. You can't go at the same time. We're going to do one at a time. And I'm going to rate you both out of 10, okay? Okay, go on, Lee. You can go first. Put the song on. And you've got to dance on the bed. Boogie on the bed. Or oh, on the cake. On the cake. It's up to you. Boogie, whatever you want. <laughs> right, you've only got a few seconds left. Come on, give me all your best moves. And at the end of your dance, you've got to do your special dance move. Your trademark Elfa Lee dance move. Okay, and do it now. Your big finale. Brilliant! The, the, the lead backspin, that's called. The lead backspin. Oh, I need bows. Beautiful Lee, beautiful Lee. Right, turn that off. Okay, you can either pick the same music, or I might have... Yeah, I've got another song in here, Dan. You can have this song, the Melahoy song, whatever it's called. Or you can use Chirp as well, it's up to you. Whether you want to try and beat him at his own game. Okay, Dan, when you're ready, do the moves. Do the Ender Dragon Shuffle. Right, I'll put the music on for you. Right, Dan, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get dizzy. <laughs> he just he just danced out the room. <laughs> Did you mean to do that? You gotta look where you're going, Dan. Or is that part of your move? <laughs> the stairway to dancing heaven. That was called. Brilliant, brilliant. And now you gotta go do your big finale, the big Afro Dan signature dance move. Come on, Mr. Ender Dragon, and go! Oh, the rapid spin! The rapid spin! The famous Afro Dan rapid spin! That was absolutely beautiful. I can't decide. I can't decide who's the best builder. Uh, if you want, feel free to leave a vote in the comments for uh, whoever you think did the best building. And uh, that, the best building? Uh, the best dancing. And uh, I'll, I'll give them something. Uh, the winner will get something. I'm, I'm not sure. But yeah, uh, whoever you think did the best dancing, uh, make sure you uh, say who you think. We don't have to. It's up to you. <laughs> comment comment whatever you want. It's not up to me. Anyway, uh, I'm going to add someone to my love garden today. And uh, now I'm going to add Roblo X Guy Z. And uh, he just wrote a comment that made me laugh. He said, Your voice cures sickness. For reals. I had a cold watching your video. And when you laughed, my cold went away. Thanks, Stampy. <laughs> That's what their comment was. So um, now I can now advertise my videos uh, for medicinal purposes. And hopefully uh, they'll just play recordings of my laughter uh, in hospitals and doctor surgeries just to cure people. So um, if anyone isn't feeling very uh, isn't feeling very well right now and they want to be cured. Um, ha 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 ha. There we go. There's my laugh. And I should have cured a bunch of you there. <laughs> it was just quite a silly comment and it did make me laugh. And oh no, Dan's gone. Looks like Dan's lagged out the game. Uh, Lee, if you can try, uh, if you can, try and invite him back in. And I'm going to take a dog with me now, and I'm not sure who I'm going to take. I think I'll take... Uh, I'll take Oreo with me today. I haven't taken Oreo with me in a while. So, Oreo, do you want to come with me? Of course, you can tell it's Oreo, uh, because his eyes look like little Oreos. Look at me, Oreo. Come on, look this way. Oh, don't be camera shy. Come, Oreo, come over here. Come on, behave. Behave in front of the people. Sit down. Now, look at me in the face, and let me see your Oreo eyes. That will do, that will do. Yeah, so that's how you can tell it's Oreo. And uh, he's going to be joining me in this video. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, continuing building uh, what I built in my last video, the sheep shearing mini game. And uh, what I need to do, though, is try and enchant a shovel. So I'm going to make a new shovel, and I want to get Silk Touch on it. And Silk Touch basically allows you uh, to mine, like, blocks that you couldn't normally mine. And I need to try and get a grass block so I can get grass blocks on top of the game, uh, so that way the sheep can eat the grass and uh, try and regrow their wool. And so hopefully I'll get one. I've only got level six though, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work. So please work, please work. Um, right, I don't know if I'm going to get much better than four. I'll try a few. Uh, it's all six, I should have gone for that probably. Another six, right, okay, I'm going to go for this one and hopefully get Silk Touch if I'm lucky. Ah, uh, no, I just got Efficiency too, which is okay. It's all right, but I'd rather something better. Has anyone else got any levels on them? Uh, who, who, who's that down there? Uh, Dan Lee, uh, do you want to try getting a shovel or, or a pickaxe or anything and enchanting it and seeing if you can get Silk Touch? Uh, the alternative is to get a big trail of dirt from outside up to the game, uh, but that, that would take absolutely ages and it's a bit of a boring and laborious way of doing it. So this would be easier. Right, so hopefully one of them's going to get lucky. While they're doing that, uh, I'm going to head off and head over to the fun land so I can go and uh, start building. Because I do have quite a lot to get done today. And I realised that uh, the last few videos I've been doing a hell of a lot of working and not very much playing. So 
It'd be good if by the end of the video I can get it done to a certain extent. I'm sure I'm not going to get it completely done because I've never finished something completely in a video in my life. But it'd be good to get it as done as much as I can uh, so we can have sort of a kind of rough game. And did you get it? Did you have any luck getting Silk Touch? No, no sale. Okay, well hopefully Dan will get a bit luckier. And uh, what I might do after the video is uh, go to my XP farm and try and level up as much as I can. And then by the next video... Uh, hopefully I will have Silk Touch. I think that would be a much easier way of doing it rather than having to do like a massive trail of dirt all of the way up. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go uh, over to the fun land now and uh, continue building uh, what it was that I was building. And if you didn't see the last videos and you have no idea what it is I'm talking about, uh, I'm basically making a game inside a giant Rubik's Cube, which looks pretty cool. And it's basically a sheep shearing game. So you all have a, a certain amount of dye and you've got to go and dye the sheep your own colour and then shear the sheep. And then once you've got enough wool, you can make a big tower and you can like nerd pole up and then you press a button and whoever presses the button on their side first wins. And every time I try to explain the rules, it always sounds ten times more confusing than it actually is. But uh, when you can see it all completely done, I promise it is all going to make sense to you. And yeah, if you want to try and build this in your world, I'd be more than happy to. I'm not going to get annoyed if anyone tries to copy me. Because it'd be good if uh, a few people could build games similar and kind of do it in their own way. It would make it a bit more exciting. And yeah, here we go. Here's the giant Rubik's Cube in all its glory. And I'm going to show you now what it looks like on the inside. Uh, we pretty much did all of this in the last video. All I've done is sort of neatened it up a bit and got rid of some of the like missing blocks. Uh, but apart from that, it is exactly the same as it was. Uh, this is where we need to get uh, all of the grass. And <laughs> there's a random bed here. And we also need to get sheep up there and I have no idea how we're going to do that. We need to get sheep in all of these pits and we also need to get sheep up to the top up there so that's going to be entertaining slash challenging slash possibly impossible. Uh, so yeah we're going to try doing that. Uh, also though uh, Mr. Afro Dan, my friendly ender dragon friend, uh, has added some sort of mechanical mechanism uh, for the start. So what you do is you press the start button and once you press start, everyone would be getting ready. They'll go and get into teams, maybe choose what colour they want to be. And say I want to be on the yellow team, because it kind of matches my fur a little bit. I'm a bit more orange. Uh, you'd get into your pod. You'd have your shears ready and all of your dye. And then you'd have to wait in here for about, I don't know, probably about 20 seconds or so. And then eventually that block in the middle uh, will pop up. And uh, the second that that block pops up, that means start. And uh, you can't actually get out of here until it's up. So here we go. It's now just risen up. And then you can jump up here, jump up here. And then you can easily get to the top. So the beginning of the game uh, will probably be a big massive rush to try and get up to the top up here. Uh, just so you can have the advantage and start shearing the sheep. Anyway... We can't shear any sheep if we don't have any sheep, so hopefully they're not all going to be sheepish and they're not all hiding. And uh, we can try and get some sheep in here, so um, there's quite a lot of large grasslands. So there should be some round here somewhere. Have you spotted any, Lee? Sheep! Oh, why is there no sheep anywhere? Why is there no sheep spawned? Um, I, I guess I'm going to have to call to them. <laughs> See if any of them are going to call back. <laughs> sheep! Are there any sheep? Any sheep up here? How are there no sheep anywhere? I normally get loads of animals in this area. I don't know if there's more chance for them to be in like the woodland area or not. I don't know what the like what they need to spawn. What, what do sheep like? What will make a sheep very happy? Um, a woolly jumper? If I craft a woolly jumper, will that attract a sheep's attention? Right, Lee, you look over in this direction. I'm going to look somewhere else. Oh, I know where we sometimes get sheep. There's a weird pit over by, like, the entrance to the fun land where a lot of animals sometimes get stuck. So uh, there might be some over there. I see. It's a bit weird how there's no animals everywhere. Maybe I've got too many animals in my farm or something. It's... It's weird, there's normally just animals everywhere. Where, where have they all gone? Have they all gone on holiday or something? And, and not invited me? Am I going to, like, turn a corner and going to go into, like, a secret cave full of, like, cows and pigs and sheep that are going to be having a big animal party? I want to be invited. I'm an animal. I'm a pussycat. Why, why would I be invited to this secret party? Right, this is where we sometimes uh, get a bunch of animals stuck down here. Uh, in here. Where are they all gone? This place is normally full of animals that get stuck down there and then can't get back out. Oh, we need to find a sheep. Surely, surely there can't be no sheep. Um... I don't want to get too far away though because I'm going to have to get the sheep back to the Rubik's Cube and if I get too far away it's going to be harder to get them all the way over there. I mean as a last resort I suppose I could try and bring them from my farm but that 
literally would be a last resort because that would take ages. I suppose I could put it in the um the mine cart. That's what I'm gonna do. Seeing as I'm not getting lucky and I'm not finding any random sheep, I'm gonna go steal the sheep from my farm and I'm gonna take them over here in the mine carts, which could be quite fun. I I love putting animals in mine carts because like their legs flail around like crazy and it looks really weird. So right, seeing as I seem to have zero animals. Um, yeah, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go and get some from my farm. Is that weird? I've never noticed that. Do I normally have, like, no animals? Look, I got a squid. I got a squid down there. It's not gonna help me in a sheep shearing game, but I do have a squid. <laughs> right, okay, seeing as I've gone all the way back to my world, I might as well get sheep from here now and try and bring it. And it's also getting night as well, which, um, is a bit of a worry because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to try and protect the sheep on my way. Right, okay, here we go. Please be sheep in here. Please don't be all gone. Oh, they're all still orange. <laughs> the sheep are all orange from the, um, when I built the rocket still. And there's a random pig in there. You're not a sheep. You're in the wrong pen. <laughs> I think they might have made friends. Right. Let's try and get as many as I can then. Right. Sheeps. Sheepy sheeps. Come on, woolies. Go on, you can come. Pig, you can come as well if you want. I might get hungry on my way. Only joking. I'm not going to eat the pig. Right, come on. There's one stuck in here. Do you want to come? Do you want to join us, mate? Okay, I might not send them in the minecart, seeing as I've got so many. Oh, come on. Come on, do you know how gates work? You can get through. Come on, there we go. Right, let's shut that now. And let's bring all of these with me. Right, if anyone, uh, any of my Minecraft helpers can hear me, I might need some protection because it is getting dark and I'm kind of being followed by a flock of sheep right now and a pig as well, keeping them all company. And I need to get all the way back to the fun land. Right, easy, everyone up through here. Uh, it's probably a bad, actually, I'm going to lead them through the house. I think that if they go up there, they're all going to get stuck on cactuses and stuff. Right, everyone in. Everyone inside. Oh no, I didn't mean to start breeding them. Actually, that's what I can do. I only need two sheep and then I can go and breed them all. That will make things easier. Right, come on sheep. Come on through them. One at a time. If you all push, you're not going to be able to get through. If you go one at a time and cooperate, then you're going to get through. Trust me, there we go. Come on. Nearly. You nearly made it. So close. <laughs> Why are they getting it? I need someone to go behind and push them. Right, round this way then. Through the double doors. Come on, sheep. Come on, he knows what he's doing. He's already here. Come on, sheep. Everyone round here. Right, Lee, if I get him close to the door, you give him a nudge from behind. And not with your sword, either. I don't just stand in the doorway, Lee. You're hindering, not helping. Don't shut the door on them, either. What are you trying to do? Why are you trying to sabotage the sheep escape? <laughs> I think Lee might be lagging like crazy. You might have to leave and join again, Lee, because you're literally standing right in the way of where I needed to try and get the sheep. Oh, I don't need to get them all through here yet. I think taking them through the house might have been a bad idea. Right, come on. you got to get free. Right, that's it. I'm, I'm going to have to break the door, I think. Right, if I break that there and then... Oh, don't, don't break the chest. I think that's my diamond chest. And if I break this here as well, then hopefully uh, this gap's going to be big enough for them all to be able to get through. I, I, I didn't realise that this was going to be... My plan was to get this game almost finished by the end of the video. Then we might be able to play it. I think I'm going to have to spend the majority of the video getting a whole flock of sheep all the way to my fun land. Come on, everyone. On your way through. Come on. Oh, they're all completely in the way. Go on, round this way. Don't fall down any of the holes. Don't drown. It's quite a dangerous place to be. Right, I only need two of them, so I don't care if a few sort of fall behind. And all the Exosketch has just joined in the game. Maybe he can help me out as well. I just can't believe I couldn't find any sheep anywhere else. Right, have I got two? I only need two, and I suppose someone else can grab the others if uh, we do need a few more. But yeah, come on, sheep. Two sheep and a pig. That'll do. That'll do. I've, I've got a smaller group now. I feel like I might be able to control them a bit better. Oh, no, that one's come and joined in. <laughs> that one could still smell the wheat from a distance. Right, okay, everyone just follow me and keep an eye out for googlies. Of course, I've already got a googly up there spawning on Googly Island. <laughs> that is where they traditionally spawn. Right, everyone stay close and keep your eyes on me. Look both ways when crossing the minecart track, yeah? And don't talk to any strangers. If you see any other sheep round here, don't talk to them. Just keep on walking by, okay? Everyone stay safe. Look, we're not far at all. I can already see the helter skelter in the distance. <laughs> My fun land isn't as far away as it seems, okay? Everyone keep close to you, okay? No, no need to be scared. It's, it's, it's fine. I, I think the, um... I think the pig might be like their bodyguard. The pig's coming along for uh, for um, their protection, I think. And oh, don't fall down here. Careful of the pits. Careful of all pitfalls. I think we've been very lucky not meeting any googlies, to be fair. Uh, it is dark and they do normally spawn all round here. But yeah, I think we've been very lucky that none have spawned anywhere near. Right, come on. Single file, everyone. Single file. Keep your eye on me. Don't drift off too far. Okay, just follow along the minecart track. Keep following. Come on, we're nearly there. Come on, we're very close. Oh, they're all getting tired. Look at them. 
Why do they walk so slowly? Come on. I'm impatient. I wish I did send them all in minecart tracks now. I might have been quicker. Okay, we can have a little pit stop down here. There's some cake down here. We can have a little quick pit stop and have something to eat down here. Right, I'm going to eat uh, some of this cake up. And, and you can have some wheat. There you go. You, you can eat some of that. I'm not going to give it to both the sheep, though. Or else they're going to start breeding while we're trying to get there. Come on, don't get all distracted. Come on, keep focus. Come on, look, we're nearly there. Buddy, you can do it. You've made it this far. No, don't turn away. Look at me. You've, you've got it this far, okay? Keep on going. Keep up focus, yeah? There we go. I've got to motivate it again, right? Everyone carry on. <laughs> Everyone keep going to the fun land. Do you reckon there's any chance I'm going to be able to get them through that tunnel? Is there any chance they're going to stay single file for that long? I don't think so. Right, here we go. I've got reinforcements. Please come to join me. Right, you can take that group. I'm just going to take this one sheep here. Come on, mate. Go on, you can stick with me. Come on, big job. There we go. I can't believe how long I have spent trying to get these sheep over here. I just can't believe there's no sheep anywhere else. Anywhere else. There's no lack of googlies, though. There might not be any animals spawning, but there's still googly spawning. Get out of it. Leave me alone. Come on. Stay away from the sheep. Well, I look at I look at this group we've got. Okay, tell you what, Lee, you lure the sheep, you keep them following you, and I'll protect you. Any any googlies that come after you, I'm gonna bonk them with my overpowered sword, and yeah, that way we can deal with all of them. And well, we're so close now. Come on, we're so close. I can almost see the Rubik's cube. There it is, through the trees. Right, come on, bring it on, googlies. And this is also quite good because and um, this is a good chance for me to um. Uh, try and get my XP up as well. And no, you leave him alone. You, Yeah, you face me. Come on, you skeleton. <laughs> you flaming skeleton, literally. Right, okay, don't worry, Lee. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to deal with all these spiders and stuff. <laughs> Luckily, we haven't met any creepers yet on our way. And that is the, the big worry. Oh, no. Why did I say that? I can see one ahead of me now. Right, come on. Just take them all out. Try and get my XP up as well as I go. Are you okay, Lee, back there? <laughs> it's such a funny sight. He looks like He looks like the mummy sheep with them all following behind him. It's like, you know, when you see, like ducks with like all following their mum like Lee looks like the mum there with all of the the animals following behind them and oh what we got what we got are we okay oh we got an enderman over there we got a bunch of creepers over there we got an ender dragon over here but luckily he's a friendly one and I didn't actually mention what it is Dan's building uh, Dan's basically trying to build a mechanism uh, so that when you stand on one of these points uh, all the dispensers are going to fire at the same time and uh, give you all of the dye that you need for the game. And uh, be careful, there's a creeper in there, Dan, there's a creeper, it's alright, I got it. What dong? I love this sword so much. <laughs> At least turned into a pig as well. <laughs> oh, you do look like the mummy animal now, with them all following you. Right, we're so close. Oh, and good boy, Oreo, waiting for me that whole time. Right, let me just deal with a few more googlies and then we'll try and get them in. And you know what? This is supposed to be the easy bit. Getting them over here is supposed to be the easy peasy bit. We've got to get them up there yet. We've not finished. Right, get them all in. And we, we'll put some doors on here for now. And then that way they're not going to escape. And then, then we should be fine. And why is my inventory full up already? What have I got? Uh, what have I picked up? I've got spider eyes and string and all sorts of loot. <laughs> right, okay. Let me put down a crafting table. And I'll try and make some doors. And yeah, then that way we should be able to, uh, to stay protected. So um, I need to chuck off some... Get rid of some string or something. Yeah, and I put these doors down here, and then that way we should stay safe from the googlies, and uh, then also uh, the sheep shouldn't escape. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to breed as many as I can, uh, because that way, if there are any accidents when trying to get these sheep up, uh, we should be okay. Alright, so I guess the easiest way to do it is uh, to do uh, a big ladder the whole way up here, and if we kind of block it all off... Uh, then that way, hopefully, none of them will fall down. Because animals can actually climb ladders. <laughs> uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, their hooves are strong enough to hold on to a ladder. So they should, hopefully, uh, be able to climb up. So all I need to do is do, like, kind of like a cage to sort of trap them in as they climb up. Uh, that way, they're not going to fall off and hurt themselves, hopefully. And look, there's rotten flesh up here. Did a zombie spawn up here and die? <laughs> right, if I power this all the way up to the top then hopefully they're going to climb up that ladder and, uh, yeah, end up here. Hopefully. That, that's the plan anyway. So I'm going to do the same up on this side. And then if we just push them in, uh, hopefully they're just going to keep going up. Right, so let me just pile that up here. If I just do it down there, actually. Uh, why can't I place blocks? There we go. I'm pressing left trigger, but I can't place them. I think there's something weird about me being that close to a ladder. Right, and if I get rid of these, uh, I think I might have a bit of a drop. Uh, but yeah, then I put ladders there. And why can't I destroy blocks when I'm here? Am I too close to the ladder, do you reckon? Right, okay, I, I just do it from underneath and hopefully it will work. I get rid of that one and get rid of that one. Yeah, I've seen your sign, Dan. You don't have to hit me. I'm going to read it in a second. Let me just go and do this. 
I don't know what's going on. Oh, just, oh, did someone try and hit me? Yeah, I think Dan hit me to try and get my attention, and now Oreo's going after him. They never learn. Minecraft helpers always do that to try and get my attention. They punch me, and then the dog gets all stroppy about it. Uh, can't build too many creepers. That's that's fair enough, Dan. Uh, I won't blame you for that. I'd rather you stay safe and don't risk everything getting blown up rather than you finishing it in this video. We can do it between videos, and hopefully next time it will be done. Right. Okay, so we need to get the sheep in here. So if I build all the way up here, and then I just go down and make a little doorway down there, then hopefully they won't be able to escape. If this works, this will be awesome. And if this doesn't work, I suppose the other alternative is to do like a water elevator. Uh, kind of similar to what I did in my secret base, if you've seen that. And that's another way to get the animals up here. I don't know how else I could do it, really. So if I do a little mini doorway here... And uh, I try and lure a sheep in. I think we'll try and do it one at a time if we can. Just just in case something does go wrong, then uh, we shouldn't lose too many sheep at the same time. I know, look at the little baby one. Look at the way it walks. His little legs like going did -did 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 -did, like really quickly. Right, have I got a sheep following me? Is anyone interested? You young? Any, anyone hungry? Anybody wants some wheat? Where, where is the other one? Anyone hungry? Do you want to come? Oh, he, this one wants to try and go up here. Okay, oh, it looks like Lee's trying to do the same here. Okay, there we go. Lee's got this one up. Go on. Give him a push. If I try and block him in, Lee, if you step out the way a sec, then I'll, I'll put a block here if I can. Oh, can I not put it there? Oh, no, he's gone. He's, he's lost interest. Right, okay, I'm going to try and get one in here. Anyone want to try and follow me? Come on, sheep, look. i got some tasty wheat here. Look at it. It's all golden and crunchy. Do you want some golden crunchy? Look, it's the same colour as your fur. It suits you. <laughs> same colour as your wool. You're not at all interested. Where, where are they all trying to get to? There's nothing good out there. Seriously, there's nothing nice outside. It's full of googlies, and it's cold, and it's windy, and it's horrible. You'd much rather stay in here and have people playing with you all the time, shearing your wool when you get too hot. Come on, everyone, come out here. I, I think they're the parents trying to stay near their baby. I think they're trying to protect it. Don't worry, your baby's fine. It's fine. S seriously. Oh, why don't they want to follow me? Ah! <laughs> I just turned around and had a pig thrown at me. I don't know why none of them are following me. Don't, don't you want the wheat at all? I, I might just have to try and push them then, I guess. Uh, if I just try and nudge them into it. Like, once they're there, I reckon they're going to get up, but they're just not getting anywhere near it. Come on. Come on, don't be stroppy. We've, we've come all of this way together. We've travelled all of the way from my house over to here. Don't all get stroppy now. I don't know why they keep trying to get out here. I might get rid of the door. And because uh, they, they seem to be really interested in getting outside. I don't know whether that's distracting them at all. Um, have you, are you having any better luck over here, Lee? Um, I, I don't think he is. I think he's trying to get a block to block it in. <laughs> um, right, come, come on, sheep. Come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have one last go, then I might have to give up. I don't know why they're not following me. I always have this problem with sheep. They're supposed to follow you, but sometimes they just don't get interested. Maybe I'll try shearing them. Will that make any difference? Are they lighter on their feet now? Will they follow me? They keep looking at me. They can see I'm here. They're just not interested. Right. What I might do then is try and uh, get rid of this door and try and block it all off. Because, I don't know, they just seem too focused with the door and not at all with me, with the wheat. You come in? No. Okay. Right, let, me, let me try and get rid of these doors and block it off with something. They're literally just staying right here. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the sheep then. Uh, the, the baby sheep. Look at them. Look at the way they just charge outside. What, 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 where are they trying to go? What have they found that's so exciting? Why did you want to come outside so much? Seriously. There's nothing out here. It's boring out here. Right, are they going to follow me now? I don't, I don't know what they're, what they're after. Look, oh, the baby one was hungry. Oh, I think they, they wanted the baby one to eat. Oh, that makes sense. These are the parents and the baby was hungry. And they wanted me to let the baby one go outside so we can have some nom-noms. It can have, have some grass. And now they're following me. Right, coming inside again. This is our chance just before the end of the video. Come on, get in. Come on, come up here. Come on, sheep. Come on, get up. Come on. Come on. It's thinking about it. Go on, Lee. Block it in. Block it in. Block it in. Go on, go on. Block it in. Try and try not to punch it. If you stay down there and I'll stay up here with the wheat. There we go. It's nearly. Nearly gone. Just put some blocks down if you can, Lee. How's it going to happen? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got one up. Got one up. We can try and do it one at a time. Go on, place the blocks, Lee. Try and block it off so the other one can't get in. Is it going to happen? Oh, I, don't, I don't know if they can. I'm, I'm sure they can climb ladders. There we go. Lee's got one block down. Try and block down the other bit. That's it. That's it. Get it now. Give it a push. Go and try and get it in. Oh, I don't know why it's not climbing. Apparently animals are supposed to climb ladders. Um, I have no idea why that's not working though. Come on. It's, it's so close to being in. Can you not put the block there? <laughs> Alright, I might go down and try and help. I might go and give it another push from behind if I can. Uh, can I get over here if I jump up on here? I go back down again. Ow, that hurt. Right, I need to get out. Come on. Have you, oh, we've got it in. Have we got it in? That's it. 
Um, close enough. We, we need to get one block further forward if we can. Is it going up? It's not interested, is it? Why isn't it going up? Okay, I might have to do some sort of water elevator then uh, in order to try and get it up because this way doesn't seem to be working. So uh, sorry that this video was a bit of a fail because I didn't get what I needed to be done done. But I got the sheep over here, which is step one down. And in the next video, I'm going to try and get them upstairs and uh, also try and uh, plant the grass there. And then the game will almost uh, be finished. Uh, sadly though, uh, we've just run out of time in this video, so I just want to say thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!